Hey guys, I'm just using a microphone right now, see? Uh, anyway, um, 98.1 has flipped to the breeze from, you know, San Francisco, KISQ, and this could be a good thing because it is soft adult contemporary. Uh, and the weird thing is, it was Clear Channel of all people that flipped to soft AC. So that's a step in the right direction for Clear Channel. And there's already an easy station on 98.1 in California, not just in San Francisco, but San Diego as easy 98.1 in San Diego. Uh, that station's been around for maybe a, maybe one or two years. But this station, uh, Breeze, 98.1 The Breeze out of San Francisco, just debuted yesterday, and they're kicking off with 10,000 songs in a row. 98.1 The Breeze, KISQ. San Francisco's easy favorites. Of course, I kind of ruined um, the fun when I think I heard Christina Aguilera's Beautiful. That was just like thrown in there. Um, so, uh, in other words, I, I like the change. It's going to be a great idea. And maybe it'll, maybe there'll be a response. Maybe Coit will add more soft music back into their library from back before they ruined themselves as inter Intercom. Because before they were Intercom, they were soft adult contemporary. But now they're just a cliche hot AC pop station. So maybe that will show them that people want to hear soft music. And maybe there'll be another ripple effect. Maybe there'll be another... Rhythmic AC to debut on San Francisco Dial. Now, where would that go? Where would that go? I know. What about that thing at 99.7? Moving, which is kind of a bit more on the pop side. What if CBS makes a response by putting more um, dance tracks on their, their format? Uh, KISQ 98.1 KISS was essentially the K98 of the West. Now, what do I mean by K98? That was a radio station on 98.1, and at one time 98.3 here in Austin, um, also owned by Clear Channel. That's right, Austin's 98.1 and San Francisco's 98.1 were both, or oh, not were, are both owned by Clear Channel. Ours is country now. So, basically speaking, K98 in Austin was a pop station that played music from the 80s and 90s because those were brand new songs at the time because 98.1, uh, originally at 98.3 was called K98. It was today's hit music back in 1989. And seeing as Kiss 98.1 in San Francisco played 80s and 90s music even today, I, I felt nostalgic when I went to San Francisco in 2009 and heard all the classic uh, 80s, early 90s dance on 98.1. It made me think, oh, cool, K98. This must be the K98 of the West. <laughs> so, well, that those days are over. Now it sounds more like what Magic 95.5 used to sound before Intercom Bottom. So, in any case, yeah, clear... Clear Channel and Intercom are pretty bad companies. so But at least Clear Channel did something right. They even came up with Gen X format. I didn't know that. <clears throat> Excuse me. But they quickly got rid of that. The problem with the Gen X format was they played too much rap. And too much generic songs. They didn't, put, they didn't incorporate any new wave or any freestyle. They mainly were generic. That's why they just didn't last. Um, they were stereotyping the 90s. So, in any case, that's just my opinion. Well, enjoy 98.1 The Breeze. KISQ San Francisco. The Bay Area's new soft AC. Uh, stands for Adult Contemporary. Music from the 70s, 80s, and I guess 90s. They have Celine Dion and Michael Bolton on there. Uh, two wonderful artists that, that don't get played anymore. I'm Robert Fye.